Dave at Iron Masters last night. It was a great stay. Um, right on trail. Did the half gallon challenge. Uh, did the whole thing in 21 minutes. Uh, actually, it was kind of easy. I've been training for that my entire life. And uh, getting on trail. Going to try to make our way to Boiling Springs today, which I think is 19 miles away, I think. And then uh, heading on to Dunn Cannon. Go oh, inside a hostel. Wedge heading north. Well, there's the Appalachian Trail Museum. Unfortunately, it's not open during the week yet, so I didn't get to do that. However, I did get to do the half gallon challenge a day early, so there's positives. Please on. Boy, today's a hot one. <clears throat> Just walking through some of these big rocks. Didn't even know this was coming. So let me switch this around so you can see it. In the woods, I was gonna like come through the cut through, and you were already on the on the highway. Yeah. So, shelter had about twelve people in it last night. Uh, apparently, I'm catching up to the tail end of the flip-flopper bubble that left out of Harper's Ferry over the last few weeks. People are coming back from trail days. So the trail is starting to fill up a bit. Um, it was pretty lonely out here for, for a little while. There was, there was like nobody on the trail, uh, nobody at the shelters, nobody in hostels, nothing. So there was a lot of time spent alone out here which I talked about in a video or two ago. Um, so for some people, that might be like the best thing for them. For other people, I don't, you know, I'm a social person, so I like to talk to people. And last night I got to talk to people and hang out at the campsites. And uh, it helps me relax. It helps tone me down after the day. So I'm grateful for, for that, that there were people there. Talked to a couple of the uh, flip floppers that are starting in uh, that started in Harper's Ferry, you know. And, and we're talking about doing 20, 25 mile days, and they're talking about doing eight. And you can see the impatience in their face, which is funny because I was the exact same way. I'm doing eights and tens, and people are doing twelves and thirteens, and I'm like, oh, I gotta hurry up and get this going. But it's funny now. I'm on the uh, outside of that one talking about doing 15, 20, 25 mile days, and then they're talking about doing their 10 mile days and how they need to speed up. Funny enough, I'm giving them the advice, don't rush it, when here I am, still halfway through, trying to build up my miles to things that are probably mostly not that attainable, but, so I'm giving great advice, I'm just not even listening to my own. So, I'm gonna try to keep it to 15 to 20 mile days as best I can. 
Uh, I did 16 yesterday. Um, I think I'm doing about 16 today, unless it's like super, super flat. And then I may go for a full 20, but that's only because it's gonna be super, super flat. Short of slack pack days, I think I'm gonna keep everything 20 and below. And I'll only do above 20 on slack pack days. So that way uh, I could get my miles up without hurting myself. Because the difference between a slack pack and a regular pack is probably 20 pounds maybe even more. So between water and food and all that stuff. So it helps you get through. It's a lot easier on the rocks. I have problems with the rocks. Um, it slows me way down. And when I have a lighter pack, I could actually fly through them. But for some reason, when my pack is heavy, I, uh, I slow way down. So that being said, this is Wedge heading north. I'm going to go to Boiling Springs today, uh, eat some breakfast, and then... Uh, I'm going to be staying at a Trail Angel's house tonight. Uh, they were contact with us through, uh, through Instagram and uh, YouTube. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, if they allow me, I'll take video and, uh, you know, talk with them and stuff. Oh, heading north, heading to Boiling Springs, heading towards a Trail Angel's house. And uh, life seems pretty good right now. The trail's starting to fill up. Peace. Oh. Center point knob. It used to be the center point of this whole trail. Now it's not even close. But here it is. Take another closer video of it. No way in hell that fat bastard made it all the way up here. I'm just kidding. We got a little respite. Uh, looks like we have about 14 miles of flat terrain, a lot of farmland. So I think we're gonna make a go of it and uh, try to get as far as we can with this flat areas. I think it'll be like almost a 20 mile day, but it'll be a 20 mile day of flat, which is probably gonna be like a 10 mile day of anything else. So, nice little break. Pennsylvania, heading into Boiling Springs, and we're gonna go to the 501 breakfast place thingy. Feels good to be walking on a flat field, digging it. You can't tell me what to do.
That's where we're heading, Cafe 101. Everybody keeps telling me to go eat here, so we're gonna go eat here. Here we are. I was lucky enough to run into somebody I haven't seen since the Smokies. Daddy. And this is Nani, and she's got a YouTube channel. And uh, tell us, tell us, why did you want to do the Apple Atchin Trail? The La Apple Atchin Trail. Um, I had a lot of reasons for wanting to do it. Um, I, it's a journey of healing for me and to experience the beauty of nature, but it turned into more than some of its parts because I am hiking for disabled veterans. I'm also hiking for older hikers and trying to inspire and encourage them that they can hike and for females hiking solo for them to be strong and brave and that they can do it. They don't have to have somebody with them to do it. And then it turned into elementary schools contacted me and wanted permission to show my videos in their classroom. So it's awesome. it's just, it's it's been amazing. It's just been amazing. Lots of reasons. That's awesome. And where are you headed today? Um, <laughs> that way. <laughs> Yeah, I, today's a 12 and a half mile day, and so I'm I'm slack packing today, and then tomorrow I will uh, move on and start hiking to shelters and, and to Duncannon. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. And we have somebody catching up to us. Oh, Dob! We got Dob, look at us. We have another reunion on Yay! the trail right here. Oh! How are you? Oh, I am so happy to see you. Yeah, I figured I'd catch you. So in case you don't know, but I'm sure you do, that was Nani from Nani Hikes. Uh, she's got a pretty popular uh, YouTube channel. Really excellent view of things and such a super human being. Uh, really glad I got to run into her again. We uh, went through the Smokies about the same time. Uh, we met on the way into the Knock and stayed at a few shelters throughout the Smokies. She is a super human being, so positive such a happy person and it was just so great to see her again i was really I'd, I'd heard rumors she was in the area and i was hoping to run into her and i did really just brightened my whole day So, today's been a lot of this. Lots of farm fields. Something new, it's actually kind of awesome. Actually enjoying it. A little bit, and the temperature's perfect because it's about 70 degrees out. So, today's been a good day of hiking. Uh, I'm gonna push for a 20 mile day because 17 of it's been flat, so. And then there's one big hump at the end and that's it, call it a day. But uh, been a good day of hiking. Um, Angel's Rest uh, Hostel found that Damascus hat that I lost so long ago and uh, they're sending it to me. Also ran into Noni, Nani, I always say Noni, Nani. And uh, also brightened my day and been hiking around people for the last couple of days. Seems like people are showing back up again. So life's good on the trail right now. And then with a lot of luck, my parents are gonna come down and visit me in a couple of days. But until then, I'm gonna try to make up as many miles as possible. And uh, while they're here, I'm still gonna hike during the day and then hang out with them at night. So, still head north. Um, 
two guys I was hiking with uh, went to uh, Alabama Chowder's uh, in-laws live right on the trail. So they went there, but I wanted to keep on hiking because uh, like I said, my parents are coming. It was way too early, way too flat and way too nice to stop for the day. So I'm moving on. Gonna do about another 10 or 12 miles past them and then we'll catch up with them in a day or two. Sledge heading north, flies on. <laughs> 